Welcome to Soul Rocky. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely League City, Texas. We're going to take a look today at another Sear Hill product. They've got three on the market right now. We've looked at the other two. Now we're going to take a look at their Durain Gold Tequila Inspired Non Alcoholic Spirit. Um, so there's a lot of nice uh, non alcoholic tequila uh, alternatives out there. This is another one on the market. Let's take a look. I, you know, their Nashville was one of the first whiskeys I tried. Really liked it. Um, their uh, uh, their dark rum kick it out of the park. Outstanding product. So let's take a look at, at what they've done with their uh, tequila. It's a great company, Brian. There, uh, the the owner, great guy to work with. Uh, he'll he'll return your emails personally. Great, he'll do it. I mean, he's just a great guy and and great product. Um, they 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 spend a lot of time. And effort on their products and, and it shows it's got an amazing aroma it's got a really nice it, the, the only thing i would knock on the aroma a little bit is it's got a little bit of a sweet tinge to it that i don't normally pick up on tequila but man, it's, that's i'm nitpicky there because it's got a fantastic nose on it really really like it and it's kind of a golden color kind of like a reposado style it's not quite as dark as an añejo but it's definitely not a silver When you try it, I like that it's really dry. The sweetness on the nose does not show up in the, the, the taste of it at all. Um, it's got a lot of agave flavor in it. Um, and it's got, it's got a really nice uh, after, I call it dragon breath. I've always called it that. I don't know why. But it's, it's that when you breathe out after having alcohol, you feel and, and like you've got this, I don't know, uh, I, just what I always refer to it as. It's got that nice, um, long, lingering um, uh, flavor to it, and, and and I really, really like that about it. Um, I, I it's not, it's got the components of tequila in it, um, and and it's made for cocktails. So I, I'm not going to review it and, and grade it based on a straight drink because I would not drink this neat. But man, it's got all the components there that you need for a nice margarita. So let's do that. Let's make this a margarita. Um, get some decent shot glass there. Okay, we're just gonna mix up a basic margarita. Here. We're gonna do we're gonna do part two parts of the of the uh, drain gold. Boy, it's just got a great the the, uh, the nose on this thing's fantastic. You just keep smelling and keep smelling and keep smelling. Um, do a little triple sec. We're do, going after a basic margarita here, so we're going to do one part triple sec. Thank goodness I've got another bottle of this, because that one's gone. And a little Herradura agave syrup. I like to just put just, I don't even measure it. It's like a, just a touch of sweetness in my margaritas. So just a tiny bit. And I like this, you know, I use simple syrup a lot. Um, but for margaritas, I really like using this Durango agave syrup because it just adds a level of complexity to it that you don't get um, with simple syrup. You, you just get the sweetness with simple syrup. I'm, then we're going to do my standard half a small lime because it's kind of what I do. you got to have lime in margarita. You just do. It's a part of it. Shake that up really good. Just a good mix of everything. And let's see how this how this works. In it. Oh, it looks nice. Just got a nice nice color to it. And it just looks like a tasty margarita right there. It smells right. Let me tell you, that builds you a really outstanding margarita. It's very smooth. Um, this has got. At the same time, let's get that back in. Agave tequila flavor. And, and that is, this, this is where this one shines, is in a cocktail. I've done this um, with a mule, Tijuana mule, which, you know, I just love mules. Um, and I like it there. But this, for some reason, just is, this is its sweet spot. This thing, this is a four and a half. Uh, this is a solid four and a half as a, as a cocktail, uh, as a margarita. As a margarita. <laughs> This may become my go-to margarita tequila right here because this is just, it's just got, man, it's everything you want in margarita right there. It just, it, 
it blends incredibly well with the other components and the the tequila aspect of it the tequila taste of it uh, and the agave taste that really just shines in a margarita i love it uh, brian you guys have just knocked out of the park seal sear hill durangold non-alcoholic tequila sober marquee live well and drink smart